A couple of former Pennsylvania schoolboys, Dan Marino and Jeff Hostetler, exchanging pleasantries at Joe Robbie Stadium. The Dolphins will take on the Raiders one half hour from now. Hi again, everyone. I'm Greg Gumbel, along with Mike Ditka and Joe Gibbs. Ahmad will join us momentarily. Week seven already, and gosh, they said we wouldn't last. <laughs> Two traditional AFC powers will meet today at Joe Robbie Stadium when the Raiders visit the Dolphins. The Raiders are two and three, coming off a big win last week in New England. Miami lost in Buffalo last Sunday to drop into a tie with the Bills at four and two. For a big game, who else would you want but Dick Enberg and Bob Trumpy? Gentlemen. Well, Greg, these are two teams that at the start of the season were talking serious Super Bowl material. And so trends at this stage of the season are very important. And for the Miami Dolphins, Don Chula didn't like the start of a possible trend in Buffalo. They felt they should have won up there yeah. last week. Had a great opportunity to basically bury the Buffalo Bills and let it slip away. Did not play well. Dan Marino didn't play well. Twelve penalties on the Miami Dolphins, a team record. Right, Don right. Shula saw last week. Things that he saw last year in that five-game losing streak. He wants that trend to stop immediately. Raiders need a win to go three and three, and they were pleased about perhaps the start of a trend. They can run the ball better. Yeah, I, I don't get this, but the Raiders are very happy that they ran for 86 yards last week. 86 yards is pretty paltry as far as I'm concerned, but Archell believes that sets up his offense, allows Hostetler to do a lot of other things. So he hopes the trend that they started last week against New England continues. And for the Los Angeles Raiders, a gift from South Florida. The weather is quite comfortable. The summer heat broken this week, and they said this is the coolest weekend in six months. Greg? All right, Bob Dick, thanks very much. For 12 years now, NFL fans have been treated to the brilliance of Dan Marino. The quick release, the fiery competitor, the staggering numbers. Yesterday, Dick Enberg sat down for a chat with Marino. Someday, um, if your uh, health is, is kind to you, uh, you're going to be the number one passer of all time. Uh, you're a very modest guy, but uh, down deep, I mean, that has to be something that you say, hey, when I leave the game, I'd like to have the rest of them catch Dan Marino. Sure, and, uh, you know, that's after playing so long and you see it and it's out in front of uh, people talk about it a lot. Yeah, I mean, and it's nice and it's going to be nice and, I, yeah, I believe I'm going to do that. And, and um, it's something that you can look back on and, and always have uh, uh, memories of, you know, being the, being the number one passer in the league history. Would you trade that for a Super Bowl ring? Sure. <laughs> because, uh, you know, playing football and you never know what's going to happen and all the statistics are great, but winning games is the most important thing and that's the fun part of it all. And uh, trying to win a Super Bowl, yeah, and, and winning a Super Bowl, I would trade records in for that. Is this team good enough? To get yeah, there's no doubt that we're good enough to, to win a Super Bowl this year and in the future because there are a lot of good young people. Um, and I think the way that the league is now. I mean, you, you see that from one week to the next, uh, teams are beating each other, and sometimes you see things you don't expect. But uh, we are definitely good enough. If we stay healthy, we'll have a chance. You're matched up against Jeff Hostetler. Uh, do you have time to look at the other quarterbacks, have uh, feelings about them? You know, I, uh, I like Jeff and respect him and, and all that, but we don't really play against these. I'm worried about the, the Raiders' defense. And, and, uh, uh, but Jeff and I actually played in the same high school all-star game together. <laughs> oh, really? Yes. In the Pittsburgh area? Yes. Was it, or was it a state of Pennsylvania all-star game? Pennsylvania all-star game, yeah. So we were on the same team. Oh, on the same team? Yeah. So you didn't, it wasn't like who won the game. Right, you, right. Who did win the game? I think he actually got the MVP. Yeah. And you were his backup? I don't think so. No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Let's turn to the coaches on this game. Mike Ditka says this is a key game for both these teams. You can understand that for the two and three Raiders, but why for the four and two Dolphins? Well, I think what Bob Trumpy said is right. I think the Dolphins remember that slide they had last year. And that slide came about when they quit running the ball, they couldn't run the ball, they started making mistakes, and they started turning the ball over. That looks like what they're doing right now. I don't think their running game strong enough to get them to the Super Bowl or their defense right now. All right, Mike. Joe, the big key in this game is what? Well, I think when those two quarterbacks come out, two excellent quarterbacks, the first thing I've seen these guys do, they come out, look at those flags, and they see that wind swirling around, and <laughs> they go nuts. Quarterbacks hate the wind. So I think what happens in this game, then the best running team wins the game. In this case, it's Miami. All right.